Warning, this webtoon shows depictions of gore and violence that some may find distressing. Viewer discretion is advised. For those who are not comfortable with this, please do not watch this dub. Enjoy the video! Let's make it spicy! Greetings from the leader. Reminds me of a funny story. One day I was walking down the street and there were several poor people lining up in front of some small business and took all of the money that they had. Poor little vagrants. <laughs> oh my. Lauren? Are you listening? Hmm? Your eyes look pensive today, but I must admit, I have never seen such pretty golden eyes before. That's what they do when I'm bored. I presume your beauty and charm have left a trail of heartbroken men. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Evans, but I highly doubt it. But if I ever did, I must have been too focused on my work to notice. Oh yes, I understand. It's the same for me. My parents own the Evans Company, and I'm supposed to take up the business after them. So I've been working hard not to disappoint them. But all they ever care about is how I'm 28 and still not married. I mean, I'm single, so what? It's okay to wait. God, this bastard it. cheating on his wife. Hey, Lauren, it's me. Kim. You know, I really respect the risk policemen take every day to protect the city. Huh? Once I was shopping and some vagrant barged in and held the cashier at gunpoint. So of course I immediately threw myself between the poor woman and the criminal. It was just like, instinct, you know? Save me. Please. Your wish is my command. Oh no, dear lord! It is my blind friend. Please excuse me, Mr. Evans, I must go help her. It was nice meeting you. You can't just run off like that. Don't make me waste my time. You're right. You really shouldn't waste time on me. Maybe use it to help your company out for real this time. Or spend more of that time with your wife. What? That poor woman. Married to a cheating bastard like you. But you know, even though you're such a human disgrace, I've still dedicated my life to protecting ungrateful cowards like you. It's just instinct, you know? Have a lovely evening, Mr. Evans. <laughs> Kim! Stop. You can't afford to lose your brain cells yet. Thanks a lot, Kim. I was dying in there. I swear to God. Next time, you're the one banging your head on the window. No, I'd be smashing the next guy's head out the window. Still, though, I'm fascinated by how unlucky you are with these weirdos you're trying to date. Please don't say this one told you your eyes are pensive too. Don't even get me started. Uncle says that dating is part of moving on, but... But... Hey. Only five cents! Ten years retrospective on the Allen Mill train station tragedy! I'm fine, Kim. Here, five cents. Oh, thank you, ma'am. No. Thank you. Come on, Lauren. Tell me more about your date. Okay, you're not gonna believe this. So first he started talking about his job. Oh! Good evening, Lady Lauren. You're home late. Work again. 
Actually, today is my day off. Anything I can do for you? No, thank you, Lucy. I think I'll go catch up on some paperwork. You should sleep soon. Yes, I will. Your uncle is already asleep. Have a good night nonetheless, Lady Lauren. Uncle and his household have been so kind to me. He always treated me like his own daughter. He made their absence bearable. It's been ten years. And I... Moving on? Who am I trying to fool? Hello? Officer Sinclair here. An emergency? What happened? Hmm. 45 White River Street? Yes, I'll be there. Ten years later, and I still couldn't do anything for you. <laughs>